We are going to start a little video series and we're going to roll these out once a week and we're going to share behind the business, behind the build, behind our team. We're going to talk about different projects, highlights, tools of the trade and more. So some of this we'll be talking about too, like balancing family at work different marketing in the construction industry. Yeah, diving deeper into tools, trends, products, leadership, teams, you name it. So we thought we'd kick this first video off by talking about the story of us so that you can get to know us and who we are, how we started, and uh, how we've got to where we're at today. So how we started Construction Styles from the ground up as a husband and wife team. Do you want to start, honey? Sure. When we got into it, we were not a husband and wife team. We were pretty nearly dating. And at the time, I worked for a commercial waterproofing company, would get laid off in the winter time. It was pretty quickly after the housing crash. And I bought a, like a renovation project, pulled up like a day or two after I closed on the property with Morgan. And she was like, yeah, you've got to be kidding me. It was in pretty rough shape. Like the roof was literally falling off. But through that, she realized the talent I have. To rewind a little bit, I went to college for carpentry. So I like built a couple houses from the ground up with my group in 2007 yeah. through 2009. That's when I graduated, but yeah. Yeah. And so when I met Jamie and I didn't really fully know like the level of skill set that he had, the talent that he had, knew he went to school for carpentry and knew he was very hands-on, but didn't fully realize the capabilities that he <laughs> possessed. And so when he started doing this to the house, I was just blown away by his talent. So I was like, we should start a blog, construction style. <laughs> and so... Watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos, try to figure out how to build a website, built our website, launched it, started sharing on social media and just truly started documenting what he was doing to the home. And quickly we started realizing that there's brands out there that you can make money through affiliate marketing and you can make money through ads on your website, through brand collaborations and sponsorships, and then through the design build side too. So this was all back. We launched our blog in 2012. So back, I always say before blogs were like this big thing. So a cool thing is that we got a, we had an opportunity to learn from the beginning, like with these other brands, with all this, the way of the future, I guess you'd say we grew up together. And so we're always, one of the things that I pride ourselves on is we're very forward thinking. We're always trying new things. We're always saying yes to new opportunities. And then if it doesn't work, then we try to pivot fairly quickly. But that's what I give credit to for where we've gotten to where we're at today. It's just that we've seen opportunities. They've been presented. We've taken a chance. And one thing has led to another and evolved. My background was fashion merchandising and marketing at the time. And I was doing a whole corporate gig when I met Jamie. And then, yeah, fast forward and we got married, had babies immediately. And then after our second child was born, I was like, I can't be working full time slash helping out construction of style. And so I jumped ship then from my full time job. And this was 2017. And uh, yeah, we started hiring a team of people. And uh, actually, our first hire was like part time Topher. He's our project manager, but he actually came on before Morgan yes. like jumped ship. <laughs> yes. So yeah, it's bad. And, mm -hmm. I don't know, growing as we felt we needed to and not pushing the envelope too quickly, taking work as it came in and ramping up like each year on the type of work we would take on. Mm -hmm. And now I think we can pretty much take on anything from a new build to an addition. We primarily are doing remodeling, but I would love to do larger projects because I get a little bored of the typical one-off bathroom or kitchen remodel. We have a good team and they can handle that on their own where I like to try and do more. Yeah. You like to push your creativity, yeah. right? And push, <laughs> challenge a little bit. Yeah. And be challenged. Yeah. Yeah. And going back to Topher too. So he started with us 2000 and 
2016, I think it was. Sometime around there. It doesn't really matter. But and Corey Beckham was born. Yeah. Yeah. And and a couple of years before Beckham was born. Yeah. And one of, yeah, so he started that. And one thing I guess I just want to hone on to and talk about is we did start our company from the ground up, from nothing. And so we're not like a second or third generation builder or anything like that. And so throughout our entire career and through doing construction style, like it has been risky. We've had, have had to think very intentionally, thoughtfully, take baby steps. It's been terrifying at times. And so when we got married too, and Jamie was doing the commercial water party, and like he said, when I had my full-time job and then it took a moment too for him to feel like he could quit his full-time job and take the leap and sharing the journey and online and everything like that we started getting leads coming in and asking to do work and so there came a point in time where he was like I'm gonna do this and we felt okay because I had my full-time job so then he took the leap and then and then we brought our first hire on and I'll never forget it like even Topher it was through Instagram he reached out to us went and had coffee. And I remember walking away from that meeting being like, he needs to be on our team. Like I'm a gut ceiling per- sort of person. And I was like, he needs to be on our team. And that was terrifying. I was like, I don't know how we're going to have an employee, but we did it. And now fast forward to today and he's still been with us. And that's actually been the same thing for every employee that we've brought on. Like every single time we're like, okay, it's terrifying. And it's always been in our best interest, our best benefit. And it's only led our company to better places. And yeah, same thing with us. That's a big question we get asked is when is the perfect time? When is, when do I quit my full-time job? And I always just say, there is no perfect time. There's never a good time to hire. There's never a good time to fire. There's a perfect good time to break up with someone. There's never a good time, but you just got to feel your intuition, make sure you're being smart you have all the right things in place. And so when I took the leap too, it was terrifying. But I also had the, we both do the thought process that we're always like, we're not going to fail. Like no matter what, we're not going to fail. We're smart people. We work very hard and failing wasn't an option for us. So I think I've just always looked with that mindset too, where it's, it's go time. We both have to rely heavily on this. And we're also building a brand and a company, not just for us, but our entire team and their families. So we're invested. and. Failing is just not an option. But adding to all that is like when we initially got going, it was like we'd take on a, a little furniture project and then the furniture project would lead into a larger, I don't know, maybe a tiling project and then it would lead into a custom body basement. guard. Well, like <laughs> a full basement finish. And then mm-hmm. as it evolved, like the work that came in, like the scope of it got larger. And at that time, then it's okay, we need help. If we want to keep moving forward, we need to hire people to help. Yeah. 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 And it's been great. Now we're in what, how many years in? 12? I don't even know. Yeah, I think 12. <laughs> I, in. I think I've had my contracting license for about 10, 10 or 11 years now. So yeah, full on remodeling for yeah, 10 to 12 or 10 to 11 years, but I never had any intention to be remodeling. Like I thought at the time with my background and my degree, it was like, okay, new home building is like what you do. Mm -hmm. Remodeling, like never even crossed my mind. Yeah. But then in like the downturn, it was like, okay, maybe remodeling is a good option. I just think that's interesting too and funny or Jamie just saying that because I'm like, People will ask those questions too. Did you think you would be doing X, Y, and Z now? And I'm like, no. And when people ask, what's your five-year goal or vision? That's one of my questions that I hate because I'm like, I wouldn't even have expected five years ago where we'd be what we're doing today. Different revenue streams like didn't even exist five years ago as they do today. And now I just think to leading into this month of September, I'm on a ton of different forward-thinking panels and speaking and a lot of it i'm just like i with where the industry is going where tools are going where automation is going and it excites me a lot but i'm like i can't i'm get excited to see where we'll be in another five years because i think we'll be doing a lot of different things we'll still be in the home industry space but things that just don't exist today that will be in five years from now which is exciting and even the last year like morgan has taken a backseat a little bit in the 
like construction style company and has ventured out on doing other things with like marketing and more media driven things, but other brands, we've yeah. started other brands and companies. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And with that, with you saying the builder versus remodeler, that's something I laugh because I'm like, yeah, Jimmy never thought he'd be a remodeler, but then he met me and I started creating this content. And then people are like, do you want to remodel? And then it just led into that. And then we started talking about brands and our projects. And one of our first blog posts was with a brand that we were talking about the paint colors and paint color trends. And like, we had no idea that was a thing with working with brands. And then they came and reached out to us to do more and things like that. So it's just been really cool. Again, never knew we would take that different approach with our company, but just by being authentic or being ourselves and sharing basically our journey. I always say everything's a story. Like you're a storyteller, no matter who you are as a brand, a company, and your story is going to lead to new ventures, new opportunities. Just well, being open-minded to everything. Yeah. Like, I don't know, half the things we do are pretty new. Yeah. And I feel like in the industry as a whole, like we are a young company, but I think we're a different generation of builder or remodeler where we think differently and we are more of an open book. We're like the good old boys are dead their ways and they don't talk about anything and they continue on their own path and they don't share anything. Yeah. And one thing too that Jamie and so we just did a new hire recently on our team and that was one thing that you brought up for our team. None of the people on our team have been in the industry before, which is actually a good thing we perceive it as because then they can come in and they can see new ways, new challenges. They can question, they can ask us things that make us wonder, oh yeah, why were we doing that? Or why don't we explore this? Or maybe there is a better way. But you had mentioned that and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like they will come into our company with a different way of thinking, which we're excited about because one of our big goals here at Construction Style is to truly make the industry better and more collaborative and which means making the housing industry better as a whole here, not just here in the Twin Cities, but nationally too, and better for homeowners, right? And we all live in a home. We all live in a space. So just thinking differently about the way we live and the industry and how we work together too. So it's where we're going. Okay. There's, I guess, the story of us too. So we have three kids now who are nine, seven, three, but about to be 10. And then our middle is seven. And then our youngest is about to be four here in the next month. So. That can stay. Eight? Oh my gosh. No, he's not. No, you just turned seven in May. So it'll be 10, seven, four. So we have three kids. We forget their ages. We forget their birthdays. <laughs> we forget our anniversaries. But we've been married for 11 years. We're in our third home now. We always say this is our forever home. But even this morning, Jamie's looking up land. So never say never. And yeah, we have our company construction of style which is a design bill then we also have neon lion media which is a media company we have a nonprofit called the resilience to reform that gives those a second chance whoever formed their lives and we run a national construction contracting conference called contractors coalition summit <laughs> should i mix the words up with two other partners as well and that's put on two times a year which is, yeah, industry conference. And then we also have another conference called Build Her Retreat, which is retreat and conference style that we put on once a year in Costa Rica. One of them, female only. Female only. Jamie's a little sad about that one. <laughs> so those are all of our brands now today that we encompass. And this is all the stuff that we're going to be diving into over these series, one video a week coming at you. But we thought we'd kick off this first video by sharing a little bit more about us, who we are, as people, a company, and yeah. Do you want, should we say anything about our personal lives? So we could touch on what's your hobbies? What are your things you like to do, Jamie? I think we should add in, <laughs> I think it's funny, but how we came up with our company name. Oh, yeah. Cause we think it's two different things. Yeah. I think it's different yeah. than how you remember it. But yeah. go ahead. How do we come up with that? I think we like, First of all, I didn't want to do the Molitor construction type thing. Like, Which is our last name. Yeah, I wanted it completely un, 
tied to who we are, like as our name. Because one, which I thought was so smart of him, he's thinking bigger picture for resale if we sell. And then two, also, it's not just about us. It's about our team, yeah. which I know he does have pride family, I think. Like, I'm proud of it. But he was like, there's something bigger here. And I thought that was really cool that you were thinking about the future versus just like about yourself. <laughs> but we came up with the name, I think. The construction part is obviously what we do and then we do that portion and then when we're done it is the style so you do the construction to style and what i remember is that there was two of us at the time he does construction and at the time i was doing fashion merchandising and styling so there's style so it's construction two of us style but either way i was like you can go we can go either way because they play off both of the ways. And we both really don't care for the name. But. <laughs> yeah. And now we both want to rebrand, but we also don't because it took a long time, right? Brand credibility and all that. And it's good for search, which I'm always thinking as you. Yeah. We'll leave it. Yes. Leave it as it is. So that was our brand name. But yeah, from a personal side too, we're a family that we, I always say we don't live in the country, but we live, we have some land, not a whole lot, but we have a dirt bike track here. We have an outdoor pool at our home. Our kids like to motocross, like to BMX. We like to pull the four-wheeler around in the wintertime with sleds on it. We love to ice skate. We love to ski and snowboard. So we truly love to be outdoors all year round in Minnesota. We love our state. We love our home. And uh, yeah, I think that's kind of it. We're big components too of like your home should be a reflection of who you are, not necessarily for resale, because we truly believe that your home can light up your life or it might not light up your life. And there's challenges in every day. And we think your space should be a place that inspires you or that makes you feel safe or calm or can energize you. And it should be built and designed for you, yeah. not for the potential person later on. Yeah. Unless you're doing that and you're renovating to right. flip or whatever it might be. but. When people are like, oh, is it trendy? Will it be in in a couple of years? It's in a couple of years, like, who knows? Yeah. You'll maybe have to redo it again because wear and tear or whatever. Maybe you need to update it anyway to, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Like we added on an addition, a sport court. And a lot of people, the sport court, think of, oh, an indoor basketball court. But for us, we don't have a basketball court in there. And we put a trampoline in the inside of our house. That we put a golf simulator and we put windows in there and we put engineered hardwood floors, but we're throwing balls all over the place in there and we're riding bikes in there. And uh, we created that intentionally for our family that likes to do all of those things. And so that's so one thing we strive to do with the content we create on our website and with our clients is really try to push them to get to know what they want within their home, how it will serve them and their family. And then they'll see how it truly impacts their everyday life later on. Okay, anything else I'm missing about how we got cruising, where we're at today, story of us? So. Okay. It kind of covers it. These are my notes. So first, first video, here we go. And coming up next, you guys, we're going to talk day in the life on job sites, challenges, wins that we've had within our company, our personal lives. DIY versus professional. I'm excited to talk about this because for a long time too, the content we create on our website was a lot of DIY tutorials. We're here to hire. Now we have more so guides than step-by-step DIY, but there's a time and the place for doing it yourself versus hiring someone. And we have firsthand experience from doing our own homes. So we're going to talk about when to hire a pro versus rolling up your sleeves and doing it yourself. Husband and wife, Caps, balancing family work, brand building, marketing in the industry, client success stories, and a lot more. So glad to have you here. If you guys have any comments, questions, leave them below or send us a message. And uh, yeah, welcome. <laughs>